what's going on everybody so today i'm going to show you guys how to make money with your can-am whether you have a spider whether you have a riker i'm going to show you guys how to make extra money with your can-am now currently i have my 2013 can-am spider give me one second left the key on guys left the key on there we go i'm my 2013 can-am spider this is manual this is the bike i drive um the same concept works for riker Matter of fact, the same concept works for any motorcycle. Two wheel, three wheel. Um, I don't think four wheel counts because I don't think there's a street legal. I don't think there's a street legal four wheel unless it's a car in Florida. You can't take a four wheeler or a UTV off on on the road. But with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to make extra money with your motorcycle. Now this could be used to make extra money just to pay the bills, or if you got a couple of bikes that just sit down in the garage, you can definitely just take your bike and and rent it out. So the way the rental service work is, you have a couple of websites um, I know that work, and you can also do your own rentals, but you gotta figure out your own contract and make like a business name and go down that whole road, but that's possible as well. So the ones that I'm talking about today is gonna be Rideshare, and what was the other one? Toro. Now Toro, as I believe, just canceled doing uh, Canem Spiders because apparently people are saying they have their endorsements and they don't have their endorsements, so they're taking it off the website. Now. That was something you could use for a while. Um, and I know a few people that do that do uh, rentals with slingshots, I mean, Can-Ams, two-wheel motorcycles, cars. Toro, T-U-R-O, I'll spell it right here somewhere, is a website where you basically use your own, you're your own rental service. You are Hertz, you are budget, you are enterprise, essentially. And you list your bike for sale for a certain price per day with a certain amount of mileage per day to make extra money. Uh, for example, um, I believe I did see a couple of spiders on uh, spiders, a couple of Rikers on there that were renting for about 120 per day with like a 200 mile allotment. So that's a hundred something dollars a day. Minus Toro's fee will probably leave you about like 80, 90 bucks, give or take. I don't know the math, but I know they take out a little percentage for listing it and you know, fees and stuff like that. But uh, I do think that they take out about 15%. 15 18 percent something like that so it's nothing too crazy um like i said so if you have a bike that's sitting down in the garage for a while you can definitely just take it out and list it on toro take a couple of photos have people rent it and you go about your way now the only problem that i see and the reason why i don't rent out my motorcycle is because if you're the type of person like me where you don't want anybody else driving your bike but you because you know how some people are if they, if they don't own the item that they're renting they don't take care of it as you would nobody would take care of your motorcycle as you would so keep that in mind so if you're buying something strictly to rent it out or if you want a bike but can't afford it i suggest you rent it out on either rider shares right share right share by the way none of these people sponsor me so just so you guys know i'm just giving you my honest opinion okay unless you guys want to sponsor me if you guys watch this video hey send me an email but if you guys are like me and you like people riding your stuff because they'll damage it they'll scratch it if you have a two-wheel bike they'll drop it they'll keep stalling all day long i don't know if that affects anything but if you're really finicky with your items and you want to keep things immaculate, um, then renting out your bike probably is not for you. Honestly, it probably is not for you. But if it is for you, it's a good little way to make extra cash. Now, you're going to be rich if you have three, four bikes listed on there. But you at least should be able to, depending on your payment, should be able to at least pay your bike and have it for free. Depending on what your payment is. So, this goes to the spider guys. Now, obviously, this is kind of impractical. But I'm going to give you guys some, you know... A little some little hints here if you bought a record no, sorry if you bought a spider and you cannot afford a spider you're probably thinking to yourself how do you afford a spider because spiders are about 20 to thirty thousand dollars um new or if it's used lightly used but you gotta think if you can get them right right, right around uh, 15 grand if they're twenty thousand miles thirty thousand miles something a little higher up in the mileage but uh if you bought a spider and you know you can't make your payments you can also try delivery now you're probably thinking to yourself, Chris, how are you going to do delivery with a Can-Am? No, you can't take pizza boxes and stuff. But look at the amount of storage you guys have. Hold on, let me show you guys this. There's so much storage here. Now, this is only just suggestions. I'm not telling you to take your to go buy a spider and go rent it out. But look at the storage you have. Your storage here for groceries or, I don't know if you're doing Postmates, you're picking up burgers or whatever. Instacart is another one. You got storage there. You got storage here. So, or maybe this is your little transportation. This is your little, let me save some gas and let me do some deliveries or something. It's possible. All I'm saying is it's possible. I'm not suggesting it. I'm just giving you guys ideas if you need it. For some people, they might have bought, spent all their money, literally the last diamond dollar. 
they have this bike and they're just trying to make payments so this is just for the people who need to make payments you could do delivery with it it's practical um if it rains um you're screwed but other than that yeah, let me see it's fine you'll save money on gas i mean like for me i have a truck so anytime i take this bike out i am definitely saving money i am definitely saving at least forty dollars a week if i if i if i save this if i drive this like two or three days so that's another idea to make extra money where you can. Um, if you can't afford it or if you just want to do deliveries, you simply want to go out to ride and you're retired and you're chilling. Hey, man, let me go do a little Instacart, a little walk, public shopping. If it's a small order, or so, nothing that can't exceed your limits. Obviously, you get storage there, there and there. So if it can fit within there, I don't see why you can't take this to do some little grocery shopping. Now, I do believe you can only put up to 25 pounds in the front cargo and about 20 pounds in the back cargo saddlebags i don't think have a limit but i'm assuming it's the same as the top one so 20 20 20 and 25 up front so keep that in mind so i wouldn't put no cases of water well actually it wouldn't fit in anyway but i wouldn't put no big case of water or anything bricks and taking this to home depot to grab some cinder blocks it's, it's not made for that guys this is not a utv but you can't use it for deliveries so that's another option for you and the third thing I suggest about making money with your Canon Spider is the number one way I use my Canon Spider to make uh, extra money. And that is start a YouTube channel, guys. I don't care what you start off, start off with. I'm currently using my camera and I've been using my camera since 30 subscribers. So you see, you guys see where I'm at now as far as subscribers. Uh, now, with that being said, I am going to upgrade for those of you who have been saying, hey man, don't forget your camera. Work, work, calm down, guys. This is a business, okay? When I make more profit to buy an extra camera, I will buy another camera. But yeah, please start a YouTube channel, guys. You don't understand how things on YouTube works. Honestly, there's so much money you can make on YouTube. It's it's really, it's, 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 it's insane. So if you're like, Chris, I don't know what to record with my Canon Riker. Let me tell you what you do, hold on. First of all, guys, whether it be a Canon, it could be a Spider, it could be a Riker, it could be a MTL7, it could be a two-wheel, a Harley, a Cruiser, a sport bike. That's what you need to do. Grab yourself a bike. That's number one on the list. Number two, grab yourself a helmet. Boom. Three, grab yourself a GoPro, guys. And get yourself a little GoPro mount. This GoPro mount came off of Amazon and it's been serving me well, guys. It's honestly been serving me well. Because with YouTube, just, I just feel like certain people just end up blowing up from two or three videos off a phone. That could be you. Honestly, that could be you. You can record a video today saying, Hey guys, this is my Canon Spider. I bought it for this much money and blah, blah, blah. I drive here, blah, 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 blah. Boom. One million views. 30,000 subscribers. It's literally, it could be an overnight success story. It could be. Now, I'm not telling you that if you make a YouTube channel, you're going to blow up instantly. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is a chance that you could. You might actually be good at this and you can quit your your full-time job to just ride your bike it may make extra money honestly now youtube pays once a month if you guys are curious um what will happen if you do get to that point where you can get paid now in order to get paid on youtube you need 1,000 subscribers at least and you need 4,000 watch hours within a first within one calendar year 365 days after that you can apply for the youtube partner um, monetization program you set up your bank account, and that's pretty much it. And from there, if when your channel grows, you'll get sponsors. You make money from sponsors. The main thing that people get paid from YouTube is obviously ad revenue. Um, you can get products, brand deals, and whole nine yards. You, you can start your own merch. Really, it's, it's, it's really incredible what you can do with YouTube. Even if you just start, like I said, just doing the basics. Washing your bike or whatever. Throwing on a helmet and just riding down the street. People like watching crazy things. You'd be surprised how many weird channels are on YouTube that have millions and upon millions of subscribers, guys, honestly. So that's the third thing I suggest making extra money with the Canon Spider or any motorcycle uh, in general. That's it, guys. That's how I make money with uh, my Canon. I use my main thing is YouTube, like I said. I don't really trust anybody to drive my Canon unless they're physically staying in front of me as far as my friends, family. Even then, it's kind of like, eh. But I chose, I'm not going to do the delivery because I don't need to do delivery. But it's there, like I said, if you need to deliver it. It's an idea of something you can do if you can because you have the space to do it. And the third thing is YouTube. That is my number one case to make extra money with a Canon, guys. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Please smash the like button, guys, because YouTube algorithm really love it. And we'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.